Look at this giant, 25. All right guys, so we're gonna spend half the day today on the river and the other half down here in the harbor, trying to catch browns and steelhead, float fishing. Basically with a, a steelhead rod, I got a lamb glass rod here, a uh, X11, um, and I've got it paired up with eight pound test and I've got a Carbon X2. Check out these reels, they're made by PC Fun. Super smooth drag, very reliable. They work very well in the cold weather conditions and they work fantastic in salt water. You can save yourself 15% if you hit the description, the link below, EH15, save yourself 15% on those reels. I promise you guys, if you're into a good durable reel, you're gonna like that. I'm just using six or eight pound test with the Octopus Gamagatsu number 10 hook, one or two shot, two way swivel, six gram float. Here we go, let's go. There we go. Got him, got him. Yes, right here. Yes. What do we got? Steelhead, brown? I'm guessing steelhead the way. Oh, no, no. What happened? What happened? There we go. We're good, we're good, we're good. Okay. What do we got? First fish from shore. First fish from shore, of course. Probably brown, nice brown, I'm thinking. Let's go. Like a nice little brownie. Little mama. All right, all right. We're going to fish the rivers. We're going to fish the harbors today. We're going to mix it up. What do we got? A little steelhead. Look at that. Thought I had a brown little buck steelhead. Okay, we'll take them. Normally I catch, you know, a mix of steelhead and browns in this spot, but nice, nice little steely. Beautiful fish. Nice little buck steelhead, all right. We score from shore. Let's go. He ate the pink spawn bag, or I'm sorry, he ate the chartreuse spawn bag, guys, right there. We got ice flows coming by. We're gonna let him go. We're gonna let this guy go. You ready, buddy? Wrong way. Come on, turn around, turn around. There you go. There you go. Forward. See you later. All right. We are on the board. Shore fishing. First bite, first fish. Like I said, what makes the spot really good here is you can see how this, see how the current flows through here. See how the ice comes. So what happens is the ice and the current will flow out and it'll flow in, it'll sash. And right here is your little funnel area where the current is. So usually right out through here, Right on the other side over here is where I catch lots of big browns and steelhead here. There he is. There he is. That's a good one. Yep, that's a good one. Why don't, oh, big brown, big, big steelheader brown. There he goes, holy crap, hang the hell on. No, I'm good. I'm good, thank you though, I appreciate it. All right, number three. Fish number three. It's 
start off here and then we're gonna go to the river, try the river, see if we can get some steelhead going. Oh yeah, lots of steel today. Does not surprise me. Another nice steelhead. Really nice steelhead. There you go. Alrighty. Alrighty. Come here, come here. Come here. Boy, he's all fired up. Come on. Such a long leader here. I've got about a nine, 10 foot lead. It'd be easier with a slip bobber probably. Come here, oh, in and out. It's my life story. <laughs> here we go, here we go. Get in there, yes. Remember guys, if you're gonna let these steelhead go, you do not wanna bang their heads on any hard surfaces. It's been proven that um, if you let them flop around on any hard surface, that's why I keep them in the water in the net like this. If you're gonna keep them, it doesn't matter, but if you wanna let them go, just don't let them bang up on these rocks and stuff. Keep them in the water. Kind of hard to see him guys let me turn this real quick all right guys there he is beautiful fish number three i'm gonna fish here a little longer and then i'm gonna go hit the river you ready buddy oh, whoa, 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 whoa. there we go there he goes Alrighty, heck yeah. All right guys, we got the wind picking up and I just want to take a second to talk to you about the difference between braid and mono here. And what I've got is a, a braid rod here with 10 pound braid and that will work great for float fishing and harbor fishing, but you do not want to use lighter line like a six pound test leader because when you're using braid, there's no stretch. So a lot of times when you set that hook with braid, you're gonna snap the line. So I have snapped more fish off with braid, but it does help with customers that aren't great at hook sets as well. So there's a double, but most of the time I'm fishing with mono and, and for the best floating mono line, try some of the Sunline floating line. But the PC Fun with eight pound test, mono and braid, hopefully that tip helps you guys out. All right guys, you probably can't see, but there's three or four browns just sitting underneath this dock in a foot of water. I'm gonna see if I can catch them. I'm gonna sneak down here. They are just sitting literally in a foot of water right now. The ice is going out. These fish will be along the shorelines a lot of times. And I'm just gonna throw a weightless spawn bag in there. See if we can catch one of these fish, yeah. I see my float spawn bag sinking. I'm gonna see if this mama wants to eat it. Oh my god, look at him right here. See if she eats it right in front of her. Right in front of her. Big female brown. She's going up to it. Here she comes. She's going up to it. Oh my god, she's gonna eat it. I'm just, I'm just totally trying to sight fish a giant brown right now. Here he comes. Here she comes. Oh my god, she just ate it. Got her right here. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh, I just saw her eat it right next to shore. Oh my god. Look at this giant brown. This is crazy, guys. She was sitting right underneath the sock. That's a 20 pounder. That is a giant. I just saw her open her mouth, just place that weightless spawn bag right there. Oh my God, what a giant. Look at this giant. Where's the net? Where's the net? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at this giant, you guys. Oh my God, right from the freaking dock. 
I cannot believe he just ate it in a foot of water. I, she was just sitting right underneath this dock. This is a giant fish too, you guys. Probably just sitting here spawning. A lot of you guys ask me, how do they spawn? They spawn right here underneath the ice, right along the current. This gravel that you see here is a big bed. They don't naturally reproduce. The fish just mowed that bag. Come on, stay on. No, 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 no. Stay on, stay on. Now she's tail wrapped. Come on. No. No, 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 no. We can't let her get over there. Got to keep her here. Yeah, yeah. We got to keep this big fish. There's another one right there with them. Oh, my God. Look at this fish. This is a giant. This is another 20 plus pounder, guys. For sure, 20 pounder. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, oh my God, look at this thing. Oh my God, this might be the same fish I caught before. No way, it's so fat, it is so big and so fat. Oh my God, look at this thing. Stay on, stay on. Oh, please stay on. Oh, come on, come on. Right here, right here. Come on, come on, right here. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. We got her. No, we don't. We don't have her. Oh my God, please. Please, please, please. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Come on. Come on. Please, please, please. Such a giant fish, you guys. This is so rare to catch a big fish like this just sitting here. She's a little wrapped up right now, but she definitely mowed that spawn bag. Did not snag her, 100% guaranteed. A lot of guys will snag these fish up shallow. And I just presented a weightless spawn bag and she ate it. You could see the head shakes right away. I just saw her. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Please, 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 please. We got her! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! That is a giant brown, you guys. Oh my God! I'm shaking right now. I am shaking because this might be the same exact fish I caught the third time. The third freaking time, maybe. I'm pretty sure it is. It is so fat, it is so big. The third time I caught a freaking 25 pounder. Do you think this is the same fish? It looks like it, you guys. It's so big right now. You don't even know how big this fish is. The belly and everything, unbelievable. Oh, look at the hook too. Gotta show you guys this real quick. Just so all you guys can see this. That would say, hey, that wasn't ethical or whatever. Hey, you see a giant brown sitting somewhere. I'm gonna fish for it. Let's get at that hook. Where's that hook? Right here, look. See that hook, guys? Look, look, look. Come on, come on, come on. Stay still, flip over. Flip over, mama. Show everyone where that hook is. Right, come on. Right in her beak. Right here in her beak. See that spawn bag in her mouth? She munched that spawn bag, guys. I'm shaking right now. What's that? Oh yeah, dude, thank you. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good, just caught a giant brown. That is a giant brown. Yeah. I was wondering if they're gonna be biting today with the front coming in. I guess they are. I'm gonna, un I unhooked her. I'm gonna keep her in the net. Yeah, it's really big. Yeah. The live bait? Yeah, spawn sack. Andy, what's your name by the way? Paul. Paul. Nice, nice to meet you, Paul. You are I'm Eric. Hey, do you mind if I have you in the video, Paul? Alright guys, I got Paul here showing up. He's he actually oh my camera's all messed up, but he just showed to help. He's gonna take a picture of this big brown. Alright, let me get my GoPro out here. You are not gonna believe what just happened, you guys. We just caught a giant brown like probably pushing 25 pounds maybe the same big brown 
I caught on the other side. I'm not sure. I think it is, though. When I look at the dots on the side of the head, it really looks like I think I caught the same fish. This will be the third time in a matter of I don't know how many months that I have caught this giant brown trout. Ooh, we don't want to bang her head. I love it, baby. Yeah, I'm gonna release all of them, just keep, but just showing everyone the girth. This is the same fish, a 25 pound fish, keeping her in the water here so yeah. she can breathe. Yeah. And then I'll lift it up and show everyone and we'll get a quick pick and let her go. Wow. Oh my, oh my God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my God. She's so heavy. Oh my God. You guys, look at this. Look at this giant brown. Look at this giant 25 pound brown. Oh, oh my god. Thank you. Oh my god. Yeah, we gotta get her back. Yep. We gotta get her back. We gotta take care of these big mamas. Oh. Look at that. Oh, it's off. Oh god. Yes. Oh my god. That is beautiful. Oh, that was a 25 pounder. What was your name again? I'm sorry. Paul. Paul, oh, you're shaking. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. I, I know a big fish when I see it. Right? One. Yeah. That was all 25 pounds, you guys. Wow. And thank God for Paul that just showed up to help me take some pictures. A lot of people walk down here and they really don't realize no. some of the biggest brown trout in the world are right here underneath these little ice shelves and these little gaps in the marinas and the harbors and it's all public fishing. So thanks, Paul. Appreciate it. You made my day. Oh, you hey guys, thanks for watching this week's video. <laughs> Leave me a comment. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, guys. We're trying to crank out always new videos, teaching you the latest, greatest stuff and places to fish. Hope you enjoyed this one. Another epic shore adventure.